What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode we're going to be taking a look at Artboard Studio, a mind-blowing tool that allows you to implement your design work on an ever-growing library of mock-up assets. Do you want to do some packaging design and implement your work on bottles and cans? You can do that. Do you want to create a poster and actually see it hanging on a wall within seconds? You can do that. Do you want to take your design work and wow people with the way that you present them without downloading any software and only work in the browser? You can do that in Artboard Studio. So today we're going to be doing a general overview of Artboard Studio, running you through the basics and getting you set up so you can start blowing people's minds with your design work, like right now. Let's get started. Well, let's dive right in. I'm at artboard.studio in my browser, and this is the website where you're gonna find out everything you need to know about Artboard Studio. It has descriptions and examples of templates you can use, but most importantly, it has the ability to get started for free. That's right, Artboard Studio is a freemium product. You can use it for a good long time in the free kind of like platform of it, uh, but it does also give you the ability to level up and have more things available to you. I have an account, and so I'm gonna click start designing because I'm already logged in. And that's gonna lead me to my dashboard. Once I'm here on my dashboard, I can see the recent projects. You can see I'm in my recent projects right here. And these are projects that I've been currently working on. Uh, we also have the ability to add a blank project or start a project with a template, which is the way that I like to do it most of the time. We can also see deleted projects, which if you delete a project uh, here in uh, Artboard Studio, it's just gonna go to the deleted projects folder and then you have to go into that folder and and delete them permanently. So if you make any whoopsies, you got a chance to kind of like go back and solve it. We also have folders. You can create folders and organize elements into those folders, which is just nice for organization. We have branding components and teams, which we will talk about later on in the video. Um, and we have the ability when you right click on any project to open, add to folder, duplicate, or delete. In the top left hand corner, we have the ability to manage our account settings and our subscriptions and our billing and all that kind of stuff, as well as team members, integrations, and plugins which we will talk about a little bit later in the video as well. But for now, let's go ahead and start a project and we're gonna do that by hitting start with template. When I hit that, immediately go into the template selection screen where I can name my project, I can choose a canvas size, choose to maybe start from scratch instead, or I can just shop from all of these amazing templates that I have. I mean, we, we got, there's digital like mockups, there are print and packaging, there's apparel, there's social media stuff, there's just all sorts of stuff and they're adding to it every single day. There's obviously premium stuff and there's also free stuff you can use. You be the judge of which one is right for you. Um, but if you wanna drill down, we can just hit digital mockups or we can just hit print mockups and just kind of like filters out the things that you're looking for. You can also search for specific mockups by just searching directly in the search bar. I actually have a project on my desktop right now uh, of some packaging that I did for a chocolate bar. And so I wanna see if I can uh, find something to do with chocolate. Um, here in mockups, and I sure can. There's lots of options. Just shows you the absolute amazing selection that's inside of Artboard Studio. I like this one over here, so I'm just gonna single click on this template. It's gonna take that template, open up a brand new project for me that I can find later on on my dashboard, but it is completely editable and it's now in this design interface that looks really similar to Photoshop or any other design uh, program. If you've ever used one before, you'll be very familiar with this. We have a canvas with our design on it. If I hold spacebar down, I can move around on that canvas. We can also zoom in and out using the plus or minus keys and command on your keyboard. And uh, we can rename our file to just maybe chocolate bar, add a description and some tags if we wanna organize it for later. Every element on the screen is editable and uh, we can take them and move them around. If we don't like what we did, we can command Z and go back just like other design programs. But the cool thing is all this is happening in the browser, which is just mind blowing. Well, uh, what else do we have? We have the opportunities later on to present and share, but we also have over here on the left hand side, this uh, hamburger menu. 
gives us access to project options and editing options and viewing options. We also can go back to our projects to the gallery. We can export and we can find some help. We have this right hand bar and this is contextual to what is currently selected. So I have nothing selected right now. It's going to just give me options for the canvas itself, like the background or the workspace. I can change the canvas size settings. I can change the quick export settings. And of course I can look at my layers list and I can drag this down so I have more space to work. Each one of the elements on my design are represented by a layer inside of my layer list. Just like other design softwares, you can drag these around and change their order in three dimensional space. And you'll notice that some of them have little icons that represent functionality that's hidden behind them. For instance, the chocolate bar, which is the main part of my design, has an icon that represents the fact that you can place your design work there. We have a button down below. Now that we have our chocolate bar selected, we can change the X and Y position, the scale and the rotation of it, opacity, and then we have some design specific stuff or mock-up specific controls like the label or the image or the ground shadow. But we can also place our design by pressing here, double clicking here or double clicking on the actual element itself. And Artboard Studio is going to open up a new tab above where we can now edit all of our elements and it'll update in the main composition in real time. Just like other, you know, photo editing softwares, we can drag our tab down so we can look at things at the same time. So if I want to move this element of the design over, it's going to update in real time on the design. This is super great because these are individual design elements and I can move them around and I can edit them as I see fit. So I can actually do design work right here inside of Artboard Studio or I can also drag in previously created design work like I have a, an image on my desktop and I'm just going to drag this in and drop it right on top of my chocolate bar canvas and let go and boom, everything updates in real time. Our design is in there and it is rocking. Now that our design is in here and everything's loaded up, we can feel free to close that tab and we have our design that's looking pretty good, but we want to customize it because although we can move the pieces around and we can rotate and organize them how we want, we also want to be able to customize it to our liking. One of the first things that I would do is make sure I have nothing selected and I would go to the background of the canvas and choose my eye picker and I'm going to pull a color off of my design so the whole thing just feels a little bit more cohesive. Now I've customized it to my liking. Maybe now I want to add some extra elements. I don't have to stick with just the elements that were created using the template. I can add more and I do that in the left hand side of this panel. I can add items and there are tons of items to add print items, electronics, packaging, uh, apparel and stationery. I can find things from a kitchen and I can add in something with a, a front view or a top view like maybe this cutting board by just clicking on the chopping board and it's added to my composition just like that. Now we can take that in the layers panel. We can shrink it down a little bit, move it around and position it the way we want, want it to be. And that is our design. That's how simple it is to add these awesome three-dimensional items into our mock-up. If I don't like that, I can delete it and I can go hunting for a new item. There's a lot of other elements in the left-hand panel that you can add, like textures of wood and fabric. We can add stock photography and typography. You can add simple typography of your own or choose one of these awesome pre-made typographic layouts. We can add shapes upload our own private assets, which we're going to do right now. We brought in our chocolate bar design, but we also have some elements that match the branding of the packaging. And so we're going to bring those elements in and just reposition them underneath everything. Maybe shrink it down a little bit and lead it off the side uh, um, of the canvas. Now that we have our design just the way we like it. We're ready to export it and show the world. To do that, we can have nothing selected with our mouse and go down to our quick export settings or we can head up to our export button right here. When we click that, we have lots of export options. You can download as a JPEG or a PNG, and both of those have the option to be downloaded at 1x, the current scale of the design, or we can scale it up to at 2x, which is super high resolution. There's also a beta right now to download things as a PSD, 
download as a PSD and open it right up in Photoshop. This way you can collaborate with other people. You can also use integrated apps like MailChimp, save it to Dropbox or Google Drive or upload to social media directly from the browser right here in Artboard Studio. Lastly, we wanna work with some of those branding components that we talked about earlier. Let's go back to our dashboard so we can see what those are. I've established a personal brand component here with my name. This is all the stuff that relates to me. So when I click inside of it, you can see that we have files that are related like logo files, colors and fonts, branding templates and brand items that are all relative to my brand. If I was working on another client's brand, I could set up a brand for them as well. From here, I can use these elements. If I go back to my chocolate bar project, I can use these elements and bring them into any project I'm working on. For instance, this is my design so I can brand it with my logo and bring it in really, really easy and everything's been organized in my branding components. Another great advanced feature of Artboard Studio is being able to give access to this design as well as other designs to a team of people that I wanna collaborate with. To do that, I'm gonna head back to my dashboard and you can see that I have a team set up called Showalter Design Co. This is currently, I'm the only member, but I can invite new members by email and give them different access to the elements and all the files that I'm about to invite them to. Next, I can give them access to specific folders and specific branding components. So if we go back to our recent project and I take my chocolate bar and move it to the folder of branding, now when I invite people to my team, they have access to this branding folder which now includes my chocolate bar project. Well, that's it. That's a basic overview of Artboard Studio. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development, and I'm gonna be doing some more videos about Artboard Studio pretty soon, so maybe stick around. If you have any questions, make sure to leave those down in the comments. I'll get back to them as soon as I can, and check the description for a link to Artboard Studio. I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and using the tools that just blow people's minds. I'll see you in the next one.